YouTube, what's up, what's up, everybody else? My name's Rixer. Welcome to another video. What am I going to talk about today? Why do I wear all this gear, even in the summertime? Now today I'm wearing. I've got a whole bunch of gear. I've got, I've got five helmets, two of which are trophies. One of them I can't really wear anymore because it's, well, it's, it's too big. Uh, by trophies, I mean I crashed in them and can't wear them anymore. And the other ones are just, well, I, I wear them. I mean, I've got my Voss D2, which is what I'm wearing right now. I've got my Icon Air Mata Pro with the Thriller graphic in blue, which I wear on the Daytona until I replace it, because I do plan on replacing it soon. And then I've got, you know, let's see, let's go through all the gear I have. The Voss D2, the Icon Air Mata Pro, the Scorpion XO700 damaged, the Voss 988 damaged, uh, and then the, X, the Scorpion XO T510, too big. And then gloves, I've got Scorp uh, Sedici Ultimo racing gloves, gauntlets, uh, I only use those on track really. I've got the Built Expedition cold weather gloves. And then I've got the Alpine Stars SMX2, which are these. I love them. They are fantastic gloves. And then I've got some built sprints for passengers. And then I've got, as far as jackets, I've got the Sidici Federico, which is what I'm wearing now. It is a mesh jacket with some textile and armor and stuff like that. Level 1 armor. And then on the uh, the back pad in it is the <coughs> Icon D3O level level one. Uh, no, no, I got the level two. I've also got the Scorpion XDR, which I'm having a hard time trying to replace because I can't find anything like it. They stopped making it like years ago. I've had it for eight years. I wrecked in it once. I've got my Viking jackets and vests. I've got the Viking reflective vests. I've got the Viking garter vest. I've got the Viking Stealth Jacket, and then I've got the Viking Warlock Jacket. Uh, I've done reviews on those. Check earlier in my videos for those. Uh, my review playlist is actually a good playlist to check out. I review a lot of stuff on there, uh, and I'm waiting for more stuff to review as well. I think Viking Cycle might be getting me a, uh, a backpack or something to, to review. But then, as, and then we go to boots, which I've only got one pair of riding boots currently, which are the Sedici Ultimo race boots. This is my second pair because the first pair got demolished in my first Grom crash. Uh, the right one got crushed. It was obliterated. Not really, but you know. But why do I wear gear? Here is an example. Here is an example of why. Two examples, like three examples of why I wear gear. I would have four, but I didn't record one of them. Those are some examples of why I wear gear because I want to live. I just want to live through the unfortunate circumstances of crashing. <laughs> uh, try to catch up. There are two types of riders the riders that have been down and the riders that will go down. I have been down, and I will tell you, I'll probably go down again. Will I get back on after the next time I go down? If if I'm physically able to, then I will get back on a motorcycle. Let's see, can I do a wheelie off of these? Yeah, a little bit. So what kind of gear do I recommend? I always recommend a jacket. Uh, you know, full-sleeved. Even in the summertime, they make some fantastic jackets. 
for the summertime. This Cedici Federico is wonderful without the liner in it in the summertime on a hot summer humid day. It is, it is nice. Uh, the, the Viking Warlock is going to be a good jacket. Alpine Stars makes some good jackets. Icon makes a couple good jackets. Not very many though. Um, and Danese. Yeah, a whole bunch of different options. And they make them in all different sizes. If you want the bigger sizes, you know, the Built makes some decent ones. Hell, it slid down the road at 40 mile an hour in, in, in a Built Blaze mesh jacket. <laughs> and was confident enough in it to give it to somebody else because I had a replacement for it. That makes me miss my Durango. <laughs> That's a big truck. Hope you don't back up. What's in there? <laughs> Now what gear am I planning on getting this year? I have to replace these boots because the soles are fucked. Haven't even had them a year. Uh, so I mean, if you're only going to wear, you know, these, if you get a, if you want a pair of boots just to wear on the track and track days and stuff, Sidici Ultimos are a good boot. They are, a, they are a good racing boot. If you have wide feet, no, they are not a good racing boot. I plan on getting two pair of boots this year. I'm gonna get a pair of full-length racing boots. Oh, poor dear. I'm gonna get a pair of full-length racing boots and then I'm gonna get a pair of shorty racing boots. Now the shorty boots are mostly gonna be on the Grom because uh, you know, full race boots don't really need them. The rest of the gear, I'm gonna get a pair of overpants, like racing, uh, not racing pants, but I'm gonna get a pair of riding overpants so that I can wear shorts for when I ride to work on a hot day, I can just strip those off I'm gonna have a pair of shoes there just in case I'm wearing my long or my big racing or my and my full race boots. So I'll be able to change there, but I'm gonna have a pair of overpants so that I can you know, wear shorts and be a little bit cooler when I stop. And I'm also gonna be getting a new helmet this year. Is it going to be a Voss helmet? I doubt it. That's gonna be a thing for a whole new video or a whole another video. And it's nothing bad, guys. Don't worry. I love my Voss helmets. I mean, the hell, the Voss 988 was a fantastic helmet until Shorty Moto ran over it with my head in it. And obviously, I'm still here. I mean, hell, I can prove to you that it's me because not many other people have Rook tattooed on their arm. I've got my name tattooed on me twice. That's narcissistic as fuck. I've got my nickname from the military, which is Rook. And then I've got my YouTube channel, which is Rixer. It's over here. I did. A, I think I did a video on that. I'm not sure. I need to go in there sometime. Oh, I need to turn sometime. Ugh. I wonder if it's like some kind of private club. South Park Country Club. Huh. <laughs> oh. Man, this this kind of sucks living in a new place. I won't have I won't have I'll have to go out of my way to go to Iroquois Park. Nobody coming. Wheelies for Jesus. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, it's gonna do it for this video. Appreciate everybody watching, appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share these videos out with all your family and friends. In the comment section below, let me know what gear you ride with or what gear you would like to have or, or plan on planning on getting this year. Did you get any new gear for the riding season? You know, just let me know in the comments below. Also, if you would like me to review or check out any gear, if you have any recommendations for gear that I should get, let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. I think I told you to let me know in the comments below what you would like. Let me know how to cut this. Uh, I just repeat myself because I'm dumb. That does it for me. Y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, wonderful whatever's left of the whatever time of day or evening you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh my God, I'm an asshole. 
Why am I an asshole? Because I'm behind a big 